Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they tell us that a chameleon can catch insects with their tongues and they extend their tongues really far. In a typical strike, they say that the chameleon's tongue accelerates at 250 meters per second squared for 20 milliseconds, and it travels at a constant speed for 30 milliseconds, and in that time of 1 20th of a second, how far does the tongue reach? So let's draw this picture out because this one is a a very classic problem that a professor might give you on a test. So definitely pay attention because this one can really trip you up, especially if you're not organized. Okay. All right. So here's our chameleon and they say that the tongue extends out. I'm going to make it super long so we have plenty of room. And now what we need to solve for is how far does the tongue reach? So we're trying to find the final distance, but it's really in a few sections. We have one section right here. We'll say one is where it's just barely starting out when it's like the tongue has barely come out. And then it goes for an acceleration. So this section from one to two, it's accelerating. And then from two to three, it says that it moves at a constant speed for 30 milliseconds here. So we need to find out the distance here and the distance here, and then of course add the two together. So for part one, let's make a list of the variables that occur right here. The initial velocity is zero meters per second because the tongue just like barely has started, so it hasn't sped up at all. The initial x here is zero meters. The acceleration though, they say is 250 meters per second squared. The time for one to two, is going to be 20 milliseconds. So 20 milliseconds or 20 times 10 to the negative three seconds. So now we have the time in standard units. And then the X final is what we're trying to solve for, of course. So we'll put a question mark there. So for one, we need to find a kinematic equation to, that will incorporate all of these variables to allow us to solve for X final. And there's one that's conveniently already placed with X finals, the final variable that we need. So X finals equal to X initial plus V initial times time plus one half times the acceleration times time squared. We can go through and simplify a bunch of this out because the initial x is zero, so that goes away. The initial velocity is also zero, so that also goes away. So now we have x final is equal to one half times the acceleration times the time squared. So now let's plug in our variables for this. So x final is equal to one half, and the acceleration we said was 250 meters per second squared times the time, which was 20 times 10 to the negative three seconds. So if we go to our calculator, we have 0 0.5 times 250 for the acceleration times the time squared, which was 20 times 10 to the negative three. And we want that squared. There we go. All right. So the distance that it went for the first section was 0 0.05 meters. So we have 0 0.05 meters. All right, so now we can move on to two. And for this one, let's write down another list of variables that we have. So the velocity here, we don't know what that is. So we have to solve for this. And the delta x that has gone up to this point is 0 0.05 meters. The acceleration, it's moving at a constant speed. So that is zero meters per second squared. And the time, they say for the second section is 30 milliseconds, which of course, as we just did, is 30 times 10 to the negative three seconds. So we have to solve for this initial velocity before we can solve for the final x over here. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the acceleration formula actually. So acceleration is equal to velocity, change of velocity over change in time. We'll solve for the velocity by moving the time multiplying it both by both sides. So V is equal to acceleration times time. Now for the velocity, we have 250 meters per second squared times the time, which was uh, for this section. So we'll use the 20 times 10 to the negative three seconds. So 250 
times 20 times 10 to the negative 3 gives us 5 meters per second. So that's the speed that it's initially going right at this point. So we have 5 meters per second. Okay, so now we have everything that we need to solve for the final distance that it went at this point. So for the final kinematic equation that we're going to be using, we'll be reusing this one right here. So let's rewrite it as x final is equal to x initial plus velocity initial times time plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. We can simplify some of the things. The acceleration is zero, as we already talked about for this section, so all that goes away. So x final is equal to x initial plus v initial times time. So this is the velocity that we needed, which we just solved for right here. I'm going to include the x initial, which is this spot that we found from part one, because if we incorporate that here, the x final that we get from this equation will be our final answer. Sometimes people will get rid of this and they'll just figure out how far it went from this section and then they'll add that to this section right here. And that's fine, that, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that the formula is already set up to plug that in, so it's just adding an extra step unnecessarily. So x final is equal to the x initial, which we said was 0 0.05 meters, plus the velocity, which we said is five meters per second. And now multiplying that by the time for this section is 30 times 10 to the negative three seconds. So we have 0 0.05 meters plus five times 30 times 10 to the negative three gives us a total distance of 0 0.2 meters, which we could change to centimeters, which is 20. So the total distance that the tongue moves in this strike is 20 centimeters. I would pay attention to this problem. Like I said, this is a classic test problem. Like I mentioned, this is a really good one to go through because it involves so many steps that can be used on many different problems.